drivers, drunk drivers, and poor weather. If you look ahead and keep your eyes moving, you will spot potential hazard more easily. Once you've identified the potential hazard and decided what to do, act immediately. What qualities must a defensive driver have? A defensive driver must have a positive attitude on road safety. To have a safe driving attitude, you must have control of your emotions and behavior. Practice defensive driving techniques and accept responsibility for all of your driving decisions. A defensive driver must be physically and mentally fit to drive. When we say physically fit, it is the non-existence of a vehicle or health condition that can cause a driver to lose control or become immobilized during driving. Mentally fit, on the other hand, is the ability to focus, being stable mentally and emotionally, and the ability to make sound judgment that is required while driving. A defensive driver must also have received proper training before driving. Well-trained drivers can make the road more safe to everyone. And that's why the Philippines' theoretical driving course are seriously being implemented before having a driver's license. A defensive driver must also know how to apply the basic knowledge of vehicle maintenance. Regular maintenance reduces the probability of a motor vehicle breakdown, and your motor vehicle will be in great condition to support your journey. Let's move on to the human factors that affect driving. First, we have attitude. Attitude is a feeling, belief, or opinion of approval or disapproval towards something. It is a mental and emotional entity that characterizes a person. What are the positive attitudes of a defensive driver? For example, someone who prioritizes safety over any situation. Someone who thinks critically according to a sound decision. And a driver who could maintain his cool despite the negative ambience on the road, like traffic, bad weather, and annoying drivers. Next, we have behavior. Behavior is an action or reaction that occurs in response to an event or internal stimuli, for example, our thoughts. Behavior is an activity or action done after the attitude occurs. What are the positive behavior of a defensive driver? A defensive driver complies with their own rules, patient and courteous toward other road users, following other vehicles at a safe distance, for example, not tailgating, strictly observing all speed limits including those in restricted areas, allowing other vehicles to verge and change lanes, accepting that all drivers make mistakes and avoiding aggressive or offensive behavior. Let's move on to the defensive driving method. First, search. Search the road seat ahead, around, and rear of the vehicle. Search for important signs and motor vehicles that could affect your safety on the road. Search, but do not lose focus on the road. Next, identify. Identify the potential and immediate hazard on the road. 
being able to identify helps us decide and respond more quickly on how to deal with this kind of situation. Next, we have predict. Predict the actions of other road users. Behavior of other road users is out of our control. It is best to choose safety decisions than going head-on with the other road users that could lead to road crush. Next is decide. Decide what to do to avoid an unsafe situation. Next, execute. Execute the action as a result of decision. Sometimes, execution is hard when we are not well informed about defensive driving. It is also important to gain courage when executing a decision, since some situations need immediate actions, which sometimes, even if we know what to do, it becomes harder to execute because of fear or shock. Keys to attain an effective defensive driving. First, we have concentration. Concentration is a dynamic mechanism which activates and coordinates our physical and mental capacities to develop and to maintain goal oriented behavior. Next, we have driving plans and decision. Route planning is necessary for drivers in order not to get lost or waste time and fuel searching for the road leading to their destination. Driving plans also allow us to lay down multiple safety choices when faced by a specific situation. Next, we have view from the vehicle. We must also have a comfortable position that enables us to see more clearly and to have a better front and rear view. This helps us in different ways like parking, reverse, changing lane, and overtaking. Next, we have speed. Speed is the most common factor of road crush. Higher speed makes your vehicle harder to control. Much more if situations became more difficult, especially when it goes wrong. The time we could respond to the situation becomes shorter when the speed is high. Next, we have fatigue. Fatigue links to the deterioration of driving performance, manifesting itself in slower reaction time, diminished steering performance, reduced ability to keep sufficient headway, and increased tendency to mentally withdraw from the driving task. Some main causes of fatigue. We have lack of sleep or poor sleep, internal body clock, long working hours, monotonous task or lack of stimulation, individual characteristics including medical conditions. Lastly, following laws, rules, and regulations. They are the like human lives. Let's proceed to defensive driving techniques. Proper use of brakes. Correct steering. Timely changing of gear. Safe reversing when you break and changing of lanes. In the second session, we discussed about motor vehicle parts and their functions. A good defensive driver must foster the use of each parts of the motor vehicle in order to focus more on the road rather than taking time staggering and searching for the parts and their function, because doing so is more of a distraction for a driver.
free now and then. Brakes must be stepped gently. Remember that brakes, especially for cars, are strong. The slightest step could slow down the vehicle. Skidding is caused by sudden and violent braking. Skids are most often caused by excessive speed, coupled with too sharp a turn for the vehicles for braking when turning. Brakes should be evenly adjusted so that on application of the brakes, the vehicle slows down in a straight line. If the brakes pull one way or the other, a skid can easily occur. A driver must know if the vehicle is equipped with conventional brake or with anti-lock braking system. Conventional braking system may require continuous pump, while ABS equipped vehicles require a firm press on the brake pedal. and to perform better while maneuvering. Firm but up, tight grip on the wheel is all that is needed. And lessens the flexibility of upper control. The disadvantage of a tight grip on a slippery road is that there is a chance of oversteering or understeering. At all times, we may also use one hand steering where the left hand steers the wheel while the right rests at the shifting lever. obstruction while driving. Next, timely changing of gear. A timely and improper changing of gear may result to make sure that you have reached the right speed if you desire to shift your gear higher. When we feel that the vehicle has reached its maximum speed in a specific gear, Instead of stepping the gas or accelerator pedal harder, which in effect consumes more fuel, you must now increase the gear in order for the vehicle to run smoothly. Capability and load of the vehicle. You have to decide on whatever option to make. For example, for reversing, side mirror helps us have a clearer view of the vehicle's distance on its sides. When you plan to turn right when reversing, turn the steering wheel right. When you plan to turn to left, turn the steering wheel on your left. For changing lanes, it is important to check on the mirrors to see whether it is clear for us to change lane or there are vehicles fast approaching behind. Unable to make this as a habit might lead to road crash soon. Blind spots, moving or not moving. Don't drive recklessly. Be aware of your surroundings. Drive cautiously. And if in doubt, better stay safe. Here before changing lane. Be aware of the movement of vehicle in front. Sharing, courtesy, and discipline. Road safety refers to the method and measures used to prevent road users from being killed or seriously injured. Road users are motorists, 
cyclists, pedestrians, bystanders, law enforcers, and street vendors. Bystanders have been granted driver's license despite being ignorant. But not today, since theoretical driving course is mandatory. Person who lacks training and knowledge and who operates motor vehicle with less knowledge, the possibility of road crash is definitely high, thus harming their own selves. And of course, we are more concerned to the damage that the innocents may receive from. Road safety also touches sharing, courtesy, and discipline. In times of emergency, we give priority to emergency vehicles like ambulance, police vehicles, and fire trucks for the reasons of one's life in danger or needs medical attention, in pursuit of criminals that may affect innocent people, and for prevention of spreading a disaster. When we hear and see these vehicles in a hurry, make sure to give way. Move to the right or left side of the lane to give the emergency vehicle a clear way. If you can move, stay where you are and let the emergency vehicle overtake. Cross first before giving the right of way. Motorcycles. Avoid excessive use of force while following or overtaking. Never be a bully. Drivers have their own behavior. You might be honking on a wrong guy that might end up you regretting it. Motorcycles have lesser protection. Or, unlike other motor vehicles, motorcycles have smaller brake and signal lights that are sometimes hard to notice, especially during daylight. Watch out for the rider's hand signals. Sometimes, hand signals vary, especially those who do not know the proper hand signals. That's why, when you see a rider waving a hand signal, don't immediately turn to the side the rider is pointing. He or she might be going into a different way. Better to slow down and wait for a moment of the certain passage of the motorcycle. Watch out also for the head of the rider. Sometimes they use this as an alternative signal. Trucks and buses are fast too, and they have a longer body, which means more time is needed with enough power when overtaking on a steep road. Overtaking. Signal is important in order for the driver in front to be aware whether to slow down when an approaching vehicle is coming and also for the driver not to suddenly change lane. Be careful when passing from the right of a passenger bus. Sometimes it is hard to predict whether a bus would stop or not. Of risk if you are not aware of the larger vehicle's limitation. Since you have a smaller vehicle and trucks and buses has lots of blind spots, there is a tendency that you might crash into them. 